Hey people, Demon here, and today I am reviewing Demon Slayer the movie. <laughs> um, I got to watch it uh, finally after like it being out for like what was it like a year or two now uh, because of the whole pandemic and stuff. I, it didn't come here for a while, <laughs> uh, but, but we got to watch it. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to do a, a spoiler free then spoilers just in case you're wondering. So spoiler free. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll warn you when spoilers are coming. So spoiler free. Let's talk about the easy stuff first. Um, so animation. <laughs> was the animation good or bad? The animation was good. It was on par if not slightly better with the original series. Um, although, there were some bad parts in there of the animation that, that kind of bothered me. Like, there were some still frames with only their mouths moving, uh, where they're basically just like, Hey, uh, my body doesn't move, only my mouth moves, and I barely blink. <laughs> because they were barely blinking when they had the still frame animation. So that was a little bit annoying. Um, and then there was like some 3D animation... That was okay, but it didn't look the best either. <laughs> uh, so that was a thing too. Um, but I kind of realized at the end that uh, that all the animation budget must have went into like most of the fights because there were some epic fights here that I can't spoil yet, obviously. But there were some epic fights. <laughs> um, second would be the voice actors. Uh, were they good or bad? I think they were the same from the original, although I I don't remember because it's been such a long time, so um, I don't really remember if they were the same from the original, but they were okay, you know, <laughs> there might have been a few times where I was just like, hmm, but they were most, they were just mostly okay, uh, I think they're the original voice actors, but yeah, they were just okay, you know, they're fine, <laughs> I think they were really original, so they're fine, <laughs> um, let's see, uh, story, Without ruining the story, how can I tell? How can I say the story without ruining the story? Uh, I'll say some stuff without ruining the story. <laughs> um, about the story, about the plot. Um, so first off, the story had some slow parts, which I didn't really enjoy that much, and they were a little bit too slow. The story, uh, it kind of. It, it didn't use its characters to the full extent that it should have, uh, in my personal opinion. Get into that more uh, when we when we when we uh, when we spoil it, obviously. But it didn't use its characters to the fullest extent, in my opinion. And there was three. There was two kind of three parts, uh, if you count one of them, that kind of were didn't make sense and they were kind of dumb. Uh, I'm not going to really spoil them, but there's like three parts that were kind of like that. Um, but that's about it, what, what I can say about it without spoiling it. Uh, <laughs> there were some funny parts in it, I guess, as well. And there was lots of good action scenes, so that was fun as well. Um, did I enjoy watching it? Yes. Was it slightly a little bit too long? Perhaps it was slightly a little bit too long. <laughs> I uh, could have skipped on some parts. Um, could have the, uh, like, could have the first part been a little bit better? Probably. <laughs> um, but all in all, I did like it. And if I were to rate it 1 to 10, 1 being, like, garbage, 5 being average, 10 being, like, oh, my God, drop everything and go watch it right now. It's the best thing in the world. I would rate it about a 7. About a 7. Uh, it's nothing, like, super like oh my goodness this is something that you have to watch it's something that you could you could watch like on a weekend or on one of your days off or something like that because it's just there but it's something that if you don't watch you might not miss much uh to be honest you'll miss pretty good fight scenes but you might not like miss much from the story i guess uh although there is like a little part from the story here so you might miss like a slight part but I don't know. It's something that you could watch and you would, like, I would prefer you to watch because it's good, but at the same time, like, it's not really going to stop you from enjoying the rest of the story if they ever animate it. Uh, at the same time, it's not going to stop you from enjoying it. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's what that's what I that's what I I would say. Um, so that's my spoiler free. Now we're going to spoilers, so get prepared for spoilers. Spoiler alert. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Okay, so spoilers. <laughs> um, let's see. What to spoil? <laughs> so this starts off with our main trio, or our four-row. What would you call a four, four-man group? A, a, a four? I don't know. <laughs> Um, but our main characters, they go on to a train and they are going to meet a higher up demon slayer, uh, person that slays demon. Obviously they're going to meet him and I guess help him or train underneath him or something. I'm not sure why they were meeting him. Um, but they meet this guy and they talk to him and he's very, he has a very strong personality. I would say that much. He is like the he's like the the main fire guy. I I forgot what the name is, but he's like the main fire guy. Um, and Tondro, our main character, asks him about the fire dance that his dad did, and he's just like, "No idea what you're talking about, bud." <laughs> and he's just like, "Okay, I guess." <laughs> um, so that happens, and then he's like, "Okay, so people have been dying on this train, and we're here to stop it." And, of course, the blonde-haired guy, he freaks out. Uh, he just starts having a panic attack. Um, but the rest of them are like, okay, we're going to stop these demons. <laughs> so then they're going to stop these demons, but it turns out there's one big, bad demon that puts everybody to sleep, including them. <laughs> um, to, And then what happens after that is this demon tries to kill them to gain their essence or whatever. And he expects to become one of the higher ranked demons because he kills them. Um, so yeah, that's a that, that's a thing. Um, but of course, our main boy wakes up, and the other guys they stop these demons from killing them in their natural essence. And then there's some fighting happening, where our main boy he fights the demon, but the demon becomes the train itself. It turns into his nasty asshole. <laughs> it kind of looks like the inside of a butthole. I'll be honest. <laughs> um, the whole train turns into his finkster. Uh, and it just looks really gross. <laughs> um, but interesting at the same time. And then he has to go find the head of the demon. As the rest of his... Well, him and the boar. I forgot his name. Sorry. The boar boy. <laughs> They have to go find the head of the demon, and the rest of them have to fight against the insides of the demon, because that's what you do, I guess. <laughs> um, and then they find the head, they cut it off, and the villain of the story dies, or at least that's what we're led to believe, and everybody in the train is saved. Except one of the higher-ranked demons show up out of nowhere and start causing havoc. And there's another epic fight after the epic fight that we just had a few minutes ago. And this epic fight ends up killing the main flame guy. And then uh, we just kind of get everybody knowledge. Everybody knows that this guy's dead now. And we kind of move on from that point. And we're just like, oh, that's the end of the movie. And that's where it ends. And we're kind of just left like, ooh, season two? Ooh, cool. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole movie. Basically, they go on the train, fall asleep, they wake up, fight the bad guy, win, another bad guy comes along, fight him, semi-win, lose a party member, um, and then the movie ends. <laughs> that's the whole movie. And the parts that I think were kind of dumb and a waste. So let's talk about the parts that were kind of dumb first. Okay, so the first part is when they are going to look for the demon's head. They find that it's at the front of the train, and they're like, let's destroy this demon's head. Um, and the first thing I thought of was just like, why don't you detach the rest of the train 
and then attack the head separately so all your companions can come up and help you. Uh, didn't happen, but whatever, I guess. That would that would have been like the smart move, but they're like, no, no, we can't do that. We gotta attack this head, uh, even though we could totally separate it from its body, and then it just attacked this one part and everybody could come and help us. But that didn't happen. <laughs> Trying to remember what the other dumb part is. I do remember um, that they wasted a character or two. Um, but yeah, I think that's one of the other dumb parts that they wasted characters. But we'll talk about that after the after one of the other dumb parts. So there's another dumb part that wasn't really dumb, I guess. It was just kind of done rushfully, I guess. Where they ended up killing the main fire guy, and they made you they they it made it like so like it made it so you 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 should think it's uh it's sad. Now, not saying it wasn't sad or anything. I'm just saying it was kind of rushed. Like we literally just met this guy and he dies. I mean, it'd be like meeting somebody and only having a few interactions with them and then them dying like an hour or two later and you're supposed to be like oh my god I'm so devastated from this guy dying uh even if the guy was a really nice person <laughs> um I don't know how much how devastated I would be if I just met someone in a, in a like an hour hour 45 minutes they died afterwards I might be like a little bit upset but like I don't know if I'd be like super duper upset which is one of the parts where this movie kind of kind of does it bad <laughs> Where we kind of meet this guy, and he's just like, it's just like, oh, we meet this guy, and he dies, and it's supposed to be really upsetting, but it's kind of at the same time, it's just like, yeah, that's sad, but we only met him for like one movie, and he was kind of not in it enough for us to care. Um, but, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> that was kind of a dumb part there. Um, maybe if he was like in the original show, and then like at this point, we're like, we know this guy really well. And then he dies. Then it would have been like, oh man, that sucks. Or if it was one of our main characters that died, it would have been like, oh man, that sucks. But no, it's just like, hey guys, uh, this guy, he's pretty cool. And then he's dead. <laughs> it would have been way better if they had like some parts of a few episodes in the last, in the first season about this guy. But it wasn't. Uh, so he just dies and we're meant to really care about it. Now, it was sad, but it wasn't, like, super sad because we didn't know him well enough. So that was a dumb move on their part, I think. Um, and another one, uh, this is the one I forgot to mention. Uh, this one is where they defeat the main demon guy. So this was another dumb part that I almost forgot to mention, but I remembered it luckily just in time. <laughs> Um, there was a part where after they defeated the train bad guy, um, and they were victorious, the train crashes, uh, again, they could have prevented that, but whatever, <laughs> um, and then they're all there, but they're all alive, and then another bad guy, one of the top-ranked demons, come out of nowhere and fights them, <laughs> And that, personally, to me, made absolutely no fucking sense. <laughs> like, why the fuck did this guy just come out of nowhere? <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, after this guy uh, beats this guy on the train, let's have one of the main bad guys come out of nowhere because, I don't know, he was just there, I guess. He was loitering around, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so he was just there, I guess, and he just came out of nowhere and decided to, to fight them. And our main character loses his sword, and I don't know how they're going to get that back. Uh, so that's a thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, this guy just comes out of nowhere and it's just like, Hey guys, I'm here now, and I'm the main main bad guy. <laughs> it was kind of stupid. It never explained why the fuck he was there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was a thing. I guess he was just in the neighborhood. Your friendly neighborhood demon. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was one of the stupid parts. Um, and then let's talk about the wasting character. First off, uh, Nezuko, great character. Uh, she was adorable for the first little part of this because she was like in her tiny form. It was pretty funny. 
Um, and then she turned to her demon form and she kicked some ass, but she was rarely she was barely shown, and it was really sad. So Nezuko, totally wasted. <laughs> and then you might be thinking, what about the blonde-haired boy? He is a badass when he's asleep. And you'd think, like, yeah, they're going to make him, like, the one of the main characters because he's, like, the badass when he sleeps. And then you get to see a slight bit, and then the most of it's just like, nah, fuck that guy. <laughs> like, the movie's just like, yeah, that guy's awesome when he sleeps, but uh, put him to the side. Fuck him. <laughs> it's like, why? Why, movie? Why? He's a badass when he sleeps. But they're like, nah, fuck him. <laughs> like... He could have helped the main flame character fight against one of the top tier demons because he's that fast. So he could have been a helping hand. But they're like, nah, fight that guy. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the rest of our characters all get, a, all get a part. Like our main character, he gets to fight the train guy. So does the boar guy get to fight the train guy with him. And the fire guy gets to, tra gets to fight the main bad guy that pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> So, I guess that's that's what they wanted to do. <laughs> so, uh, two of our characters got shafted to the side, pretty much. Which was kind of stupid, but whatever, I guess. Um, and then we had, like, the Mindscape. I really liked the Mindscape and a few of them. Like, the Flame Guy, that we barely know. His Mindscape was pretty cool, and he had some pretty cool, like natural instincts uh our main boy his mindscape was pretty nice and he had like this really nice uh inner mindscape that helped one of the people that was trying to hurt him turn into a better person so yeah his mindscape was uh was pretty cool so as well uh the boar <laughs> he had an interesting mindscape where it was kind of wild kind of in a cave and his inner conscience, inner conscience saved him from the bad guy by turning into a wild animal. So that's that's interesting. Like that's what I would think would happen. But then the one they made the worst was the yellow guy. He was like in his inner mind, he was just being happy with Nezuko and being like, "Ooh, we're gonna get married and stuff. It's so cool and stuff." But then they wasted the opportunity when it came to his like inner thoughts. Like, his inner mindscape where they're going to kill him. Um, it should have been the cool guy that can cut down any demon, right? But instead, they're like, oh, let's play it off as a joke instead. Uh, which, I get it. He's like, he's comedy belief. He's comedy relief. But at the same time, I really wanted to see, like, his inner badass just being just like, you're in my inner mind, bitch. And just fucking cutting the kid in half and killing him. But... You know, he's a human, so they wouldn't have done that. But at, but he could have, like, punched him in the face and, like, kicked his ass. Because his inner self should have been his badass self. But they're like, no, let's just make him comedy relief. Uh, which is kind of stupid. Uh, but, but whatever. That's the one mind scrap I really didn't like. Um, so, all in all, was this movie good or bad? This movie was good but it had some stupid moments in there. It shafted two of our main characters pretty much. And it introduced a character just to kill them off in like an hour or two. Which was pretty ridiculous. And obviously the stupid moments were like, why didn't you just disconnect the train from the head? Uh, so you could have fought the head with all your friends. But no. And the train wouldn't have crashed by the way if that would have happened. Um... Why did the main bad guy just pop up out of nowhere <laughs> and just was like, hey guys, I'm here now, I guess. <laughs> what, what is he, All Might? <laughs> I don't know, man. He just pops up out of nowhere. Um, and then the, like, the main flame guy, he just dies. Like, why? And of course, two of our main characters just kind of pushed off to the side. Like, the blonde guy could have helped the main flame guy because the main flame guy was going really fast and so was this other guy. And the blonde guy, we know he's, like, super fucking fast. So it's just like, oh, is the blonde guy going to show up and be, like, super fast and help him out? It's like, no, nah, that guy's that guy's over there. Fuck him. <laughs> this this is the main guy and this, and this flame guy. <laughs> it's kind of it's, it's kinda dumb. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I did like it, but there was lots of plot holes and, like, not plot holes, I guess, just flaws. 
Lots of flaws that could have been remedied if they would have done it properly, but they didn't. So yeah, all in all, it was a good movie, but if you miss it, you probably won't miss too much, to be honest. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. That's the best way to keep my channel. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, my friends, stay sane. Peace. Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, and share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Channel, my baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at here, buddy. Look over here. <laughs>